Hi everyone, welcome back to Clumsy Cakes. So today on the channel, we're going to be making some chiclitches. We're going to be making the cookies first. So we're going to put some butter into our KitchenAid. I'm using a KitchenAid today, but you don't have to. You can do this by hand or with a hand mixer. So I'm just mixing that up into light and fluffy. It's going to take about two minutes. Alright. Then I'm going to add some brown sugar and mix that up until incorporated and some granulated sugar. And an egg. And I put some vanilla extract in here at this point too, you just can't see it. And now I'm going to mix up my dry ingredients. You can do this in the beginning so you don't have to do it in the middle. I just am kind of unprepared so I do it as needed. So you're just going to sift all those ingredients together. And add them straight in. And then you're just going to mix until you see no more streaks of unincorporated flour. And then you're going to put your chocolate chips in. I use chocolate chunks. You can do whichever you like. And just fold those in by hand. And then we're just going to stick this in the fridge covered overnight. So I use store-bought ice cream for this. Whatever you use, you just want to take that out of the fridge and let it thaw for about 20 minutes. Just to make it easier to get out of the container. While that's happening, you just want to prepare your casserole dish by lining it with plastic wrap or saran wrap, whatever you want to call it. And then get your ice cream out, cover it with parchment paper, and flatten it down with your hand in an even layer. And stick that in the fridge. I'm sorry, stick that in the freezer overnight. Now we're going to portion out our cookies and the one thing you want to remember here is that however wide in diameter your cookie circle is, you want your cookies to be that same diameter. So I went with about 3 inch in diameter cookie scoops and this is going to spread so it's going to be a little bit bigger and you just want to flatten them out a little bit so it helps them to spread a little bit more and be a little bit flatter so they're not such a mound on the top. And now we're going to stick those in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes and cool them completely. Now I'm just simply going to assemble my chip wedges. So you're going to take your cookie and put it on the flat side up. And take whatever size cookie cutter you wish and cut out your ice cream. Just want to make sure that it is completely cut on all sides. So just press down really far and maybe wiggle it a little bit to make sure that it's all cut out. And now you're going to use the paper to help you lift the ice cream up a little bit and just gently lift that cookie cutter up and then set your ice cream on the cookie. And just make sure that you just kind of press, not in the middle as much as on the outside. You want to get that ice cream to detach from the sides of the cookie cutter. And using another helping hand here is definitely helpful. And the other thing that's really helpful here is to make sure that you don't do this in a really hot room. And if you have to do it in a hot room like I do, make sure that you have a fan on or some kind of air conditioning and make sure that you move quickly. So get one done, put it in the freezer. Get another done, put it in the freezer. Or else you're just going to have a big soupy melty mess. And that is not fun, trust me. After I let those firm up in the fridge for about five hours, it was sprinkle time. And I used some red, white, and blue sprinkles because this weekend is 4th of July. But you can do whatever you'd like. And that is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this one, don't forget to leave me a like down below. And don't forget to leave any comments for what you would like to see next. Make this this weekend for 4th of July. If you guys live in America and you guys 
will not be sorry, I promise. And if where you live is anything like where I live right now, it is so hot. So an ice cream sandwich is a totally welcome dessert. Subscribe to make more messes with me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Happy 4th of July.